Gampler Cast Number Three. Yahoo! Hello and welcome to a new live cast from Game Gamblers. Fau here. We are just on Famonville and looking for a beautiful fight against Guard and Unknown the Legends. We have Guard. Guard at the Brit, the British company playing with. At the moment, Royal Artillery Reachment, uh, Mobile Assault Reachment, and at least Special Weapons Reachment. All three commanders from Brits, which are at least, I think, um, <laughs> Mobile Assault Reachment is very often used with Land Mattress. We know that on this map, really, really useful and also very, very strong. Then we have our Special Weapons Reachment with uh, those beautiful tank cartridges, infantry sections, which have just instantly those kind of anti tank weapons, which are also in the early mid game very good and have those crocodile in the late game with some beautiful big arty support. Then the RT Royal Artillery Reachment Commander with the very uh, lovely Valentine, which don't do the most damage, kind of damage, but with a lot of artillery, um, you could just do a lot of damage against the those bases because of the range. Then our unknown legend at the moment is OKW. We have Luthor Crown Forces Doctrine with Falchum Jaeger as well as with some air bonus soul with more Falchum Jaegers. Often used in 1v1. It's one of the loveliest and also sneakiest um, kind of squads you could call in in buildings to probably get some squads in the retreat path destroyed or even just join in on the battlefield to getting some points decapped or even capped. Then we have our uh, Special Operation Doctrine, uh, the Command Panther with STGs for the Obersoldaten, also very good and uh, beautiful used often um, Doctrine. And then Feuerstrom Doctrine, not very often used, but it's strong against the uh, heavy cover and also against buildings if uh, the map is very strong with it. You could just using those flamers with Storm Pioneers or just getting those Flame Panzer, Flammen Panzer, the Hetzer. Or just the rocket barrage, which is also good to destroying uh, at a focus point some kind of um, British covering building. So not very bad. So we see how it works. We just have a start with three force grenadiers from unknown legend. Meanwhile, uh, the guard just starting with three triple infantry sections and looking to have the control of the map. At the moment, it's just more like uh, the control looks more in unknown legend's hand. You have just the upper hand on the downside, have the middle side and also is looking to um, flank at the moment uh, guard from every kind of sides. But looks like he breaks through at the moment and uh, let's see if he just will attacking, going for attack. At the moment you have enough resources to getting another infantry section or even an Probably a Vickers out who just is very strong in the middle building. This building is one of the loftiest MG hiding positions where an MG just have totally control over all sides and could just force the enemy into the retreat with the suppression of the Maxim from the Vickers fire. First decap at the fuel point, meanwhile. Um, the fuel point from a guard is under control. We have at the moment higher um, priority on the munition from Unknown Legend. You have at least one munition point up, and with that, a much higher increased munition income. We have our first truck out from Unknown Legend. This will be probably an early, maybe T1. But if you're just building those kind of medical supplies, it will be a T2 building and he's still waiting, so it will be T2 with the looks in the early game. Some beautiful push from three force engineers looking to get the fuel under control, but there's a beautiful set bunker from God set with some infantry sections in, which will make Unknown Legend trouble to getting the fuel up at the moment. The left side, meanwhile, a uh, low Falcon Elias squad is in a bad positioning, but the Storm Pioneers will probably finish up those kind of infrastructure in big cover. The right side, the control is still on the way from Unknown Legend. But the guards have to retreat very soon. One extra soldier can be added to infantry oh, it looks like now. that the Storm Pioneers were losing the fight against those infantry sections at the moment and no cover. Meanwhile, infantry sections is almost to winning the fight and he's not looking and the Storm Pioneers goes down. It was a very early, sadly lose for Unknown Lashings, the Storm Pioneer. Let's see if he's just rebuilding it or he just goes for some kind of 
Oh, he goes for a medic track. That's interesting. I just thought he were going for a T2 building because he didn't build it the end. Okay, so we have a T1 building, probably LEG we're seeing against those bankers soon. Um, often used, or just uh, those half tracks, those flag half track, also most likely used. So at the moment, from the unit's preservation, God is in a better composition, in a better way to hold the points. He just getting at the moment his fuel back and capped also the other fuel. He's not getting the resources from this point because it's not connected to the rest of the area. I just need the, um, this kind of capping point or this um, munition point to get the control. But that nice grenade from Unknown Legend could be a kill, but no, you don't focus on it and it comes away. Right side, meanwhile, a very low infantry section finishing the cap. Unknown Legend just shooting a bit around and sitting in cavern and lets him just run into it. At the moment from the VPs, Unknown Legend is in a better way, have two VPs and also still 500 VPs left. So he is untouchable in those kind of things and he's trying to look to get the middle one. You have a sniper on the field trying to work at those Falks Grenadiers with five mans and now he's just working together with those infantry sections with a sniper to get Probably some nice shots in sniper are working to get those shots in he will getting another shot in and he is forced to retreat very soon He don't have a chance against the sniper and the infantry section. There's no way Middle one he getting his first MG out so Unknown Legend just get an MG next out to get the control over the middle side easier to hold Let's see if the sniper will have a nice work on those building and will probably force him outside again he just forced, uh, just set the direction into the downside because he think, okay, there's a sniper, there's the infantry section, so he's probably going for it. Right side, we've seen a retreating close in the squad, and he just getting suppressed, have to going away. The bunker is still not fired, but he just uh, decided to break it up. The left side, he's good still getting those kind of, but he don't going for it. He just. Tried no, I don't need this. He could still taking for some kind of medic, but he don't going for that as well. We see no storm pioneers built, so he's probably going for some tech soon. No, here he goes. He going for an LAG. LAG. Um, at the moment, not that important to build because of the sniper. Probably get some good nice hits in, or at least getting those bunkers down, which is at the moment still just one up, but probably will be building more. Sniper still at the way to. Um, work at this building and it, like I said the enemy have to be retreating now Meanwhile on the left side the control over the fuel is very hard and we don't getting at the moment in uh, MG is looking to rebuilding but it don't getting it. Oh the MG is in a bad situation He could just going down, but he have to reload and that just saved the ass from the MG right side Meanwhile you have a third man very low Voice Canadian squad doing some nice work against those infantry sections, but both will be are available to survive. Right side sniper is still up, looking for some sneaky kills and have some overview here. Um, we have still no vehicle on the field. Looks like you were going for instantly T4. And yeah, there comes the trucks up. He's just looking forward to getting T4 up. He don't trying to rebuild his storm pioneers. So he have a bad way after all to repairing his building, uh, his, his first vehicles up if he builds one. But at the moment, you don't need really a vehicle or a storm pioneer. He's in a good positioning with those four force engineer squads with the MG suppression. Nice, beautiful grenades. And he will be winning this fight for sure. He's trying to beat something and. He just beat the cover, so that is just a nice cover destroying from him, from the Brits. Oh, there was a beautiful sniper hit probably, was a sniper there around? No, the sniper is just at the left side, just seeing it was just the normal infantry section. Two of them force those low health, force gonna be instantly into death. It looks like he was just building around here, the T4 building is good, still building it right now, and it looks like he was just building it now up on this positioning. Here he goes, looking to covering the middle as well as those kind of capture points here. So we have just uh, three points at the moment in cover, most likely. This one could be probably hidden behind those uh, kind of bushes and uh, trees. But he tries to get back the left side. Sniper on the retreat just was in a bad si situation to hold the uh, VP point because he can't get away here against those kind of a lot of folks kind of ideas. So it was a good decision to just retreating here and don't to try to get out there on other other way. 
Mm, middle one is at the moment nothing happening. T4 Breen goes up. There's no support really. Just the MG and the folks just trying if it has coming. Something up from. It could be having a trouble, but I think it will be safe and really have not that much trouble. They're going some LG in, getting some nice suppression with grenade and LG firing. They can't stay longer there. And the T4 building is almost up. It doesn't get any damage or get realized here. So maybe we're seeing very soon the first attack here. T4 up. He could just building nothing with it. But who else could just be have those T4 burning right now in this area. It's just 10 minutes, it's just not long, so we need just probably a long time to build some tank up, but you have a good chance to get some tank up. And he goes the first firing from the T4 building and he have also to retreat through those fire grenades to those Molotov grenades, but he will not be forcing some LG firing. He's just forced to retreat. He was really lucky at don't hitting it with the LG because it was just very low and stick together like nothing else. He's trying to beat those kind of things. There's a good flank on those sides. MG could also forcing at this, but it's just trying to um, hold uh, the flanking positioning right now. LG just trying to work on this building and getting it down. He can't stay long there. He just was losing this fight, whatever he's just doing here. He can't just not staying a long time there. Right side, another bunker is up in front of the building. Interesting positioning here. Looks like he's trying to get those T4 building down. LG working more on this building. He's really trying to get Enemy it down. He retreats after point. all, and another fresh squad goes, and he's just trying to hold this building so long he could do it because he won't hold probably those uh, munition points on the left side. Um, Bunker just stopped building up. He's not destroying it, so probably we're finishing it still. It still had get damaged, so let's see if he's just doing it or not. But where's this? Where's the AT gun? The AT gun at the moment is far, far away. I just thought he was going to get those T4 building damage, but no, it don't getting it. He's just outside here now, looking to try that, and it looks like a sneaky, um, the enemy have destroyed a forward position. sneaky, sneaky attack against this. Here we go. He goes into the building and getting a nice shot into it. Energy almost hits, but it misses. Grenade into the right of the door. Very nice grenade. Almost goes down the building, but he don't tried to get outside the building and just is now forced to be killed. He just loses the squad on the downside, didn't uh, really realize that. And that is just very, very a good position for guard now. Guard still don't losing any kind of squad and have at the moment really good map control, not even bad. Only thing he don't have is the VPs, but Unknown Legend loses a force energy squad run. and also a Work to construct a new company command post is finished. A Fox in the end is uh, Storm Pioneer squad, so a lot of things just and he's still trying to get with the LG some kind of buildings destroyed. He's trying, okay, buildings is not my way. I don't need buildings. I have to destroy those cover and those buildings that just force me that I can't winning those kind of engagements. So Brits strong in things. Oh, beautiful hit from the T4 building. It perfectly set it up that he can't for sure have few and holding the VPs. VP lead at the moment for Unknown Legend in a beautiful way. You just have three VPs and is with 497 VPs at the moment. Not endangering in quite a long time. Also losing the VPs without a lot of trouble. Left side he just trying finally to get some VPs back but still now he still have two VPs then left and don't have that much problems. Trying to destroy some cover, probably he just misclicked. Uh, LG just getting flanked from behind. He's just hiding and waiting. Let's see if he goes for the cap there. Waiting for a right positioning here. Here he goes. He goes in and probably looks for a grenade here. But unknown legend just realized it instantly and goes forward into the near of the T4 building to not get in problems here. Here goes a beautiful hit from the T4 building again. Just it suppresses those guard instantly and will probably getting some more shots up but will survive without that much trouble. Left side the storm pioneers are uh, not the storm pioneers, the pioneers just trying to beat those fox pioneers with upgraded STGs but the storm pioneers were losing this fight. There's also an MG setting up. The pioneers are in big danger. It's good, good, good falling down here right now. MG is firing right now also. Just some forcing, but he could be dying, could be dying, could he die? It survived with very low health. What a lucky boy. Wow. 
Sniper's just getting a brother in, now we have two snipers. This is just the two brothers trying together to survive here some damage from the LEG, but the LEG is just, uh, at the moment, just, uh, yeah, no, no man anymore. Just getting destroyed from the double sniper combination. Very savvy for him, but he could just uh, reinforce uh, healing his sniper. And double snipers from Pritz. is very strong. We have a very long low squad at uh, any point here. It just will probably reinforce him very soon. Sniper working at those kind of folks will be without a lot of trouble surviving. Double Pritz snipers is one of the best way to forcing those Okay, double you down to zero man. He could still holding the VPs at the moment, but I s feel like there's coming very soon the tank out. I don't know what tank he is going. He's still, still T4. He didn't take up for a um, kind of Churchill or Comets, but he could building very soon a Cromwell, which will be for sure one of the, I think, best ways here right now. Snipers is in outside the cover at the moment, could just shooting from the Oberzo Daten, but. It wasn't upgraded and didn't do enough damage with those three to two men. He's just again trying to get those control of the VPs back, but the T4 building with the stealth for Kid left a few. Um, we could easily holding it without a lot of trouble. And there goes the sniper goes against with a T gun against those. LEG, could it survive? Could be another shot in. No, it gets out. Lucky before just getting destroyed. MG holding the left side without problems. The pioneers just have to retreat again. Um, meanwhile, on the top side, a low infantry section with um, artillery upgrades. Oh, there's something just gone. Didn't see what it was. Probably here. Sniper goes down in the middle. This was probably a bit too far forward. And the T4 building just decide. All right, I, I take the sniper. And boom! Strikes. Meanwhile, the control VP is still leading with unknown legends. He's trying his best way to hold the stuff, but we will have very soon, probably if not even yet, a tank out. He could still building a tank, but he's probably trying uh, to get something bigger Damn, out. To probably a, a fi firefly, which he don't need at the moment, and he could not need, but he's probably taking up for a Churchill, which is also a good way to have a very, very strong late game. And grenade goes in, will be... Let him run away. Meanwhile, here, some fights going out. The sniper was just a bad situation for Guard, but Guard have still a sniper left. At least his zero wedded sniper is alive, so he didn't lose both snipers, even if it was the higher wedded one who just died. Working on those bunker will be going down and coast like some couple of uh, manpower. A little infantry uh, blob goes downside, looking using the building, which is on very low health. Just one more LEG could just forcing those building down. You have to be aware about that. Another hit into those directions where the bunker was, but the bunker is in a good way you could stay here. You should focus on the MG, not those other kind of things. This grenade could be forcing down the MG. The MG is just decreed, and he has a bad way to getting those MG down. Three guys are against those foils. This MG is almost down. P4 on the field from unknown legends, and he's trying to work at those snipers and stuff. Let's see how this will be working at least. 3MG and the P4 it doesn't look like for uh, have some s detection into the base. He just said no, 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 don't go this risky way. I just have a tank out. It's okay. Just play safe here. You don't want to force to lose too much here. If you're losing the tank, if you were losing the tank, you would just have a lot of trouble here. But here comes the big counter. The God man just building a Sherman Firefly. Enemy got one of our squads. Will be easily counting, Our countering those kind of P4 in range and also in close range. In uh, close range, probably the P4 have a better way if you're just getting around it. But I think even in front of it, it will be not have We're enough a point. penetration to winning this fight. Nasty it is. 
ready to give someone a bloody AG nose. firing into the base, almost hitting the sniper, but sniper is just saved and survived that. So the Firefly on the field, he gets getting instantly double upgraded. That caused a lot of munition, but he says it's not a problem. I have a munition. I, I, I can do that. And unless at the moment have almost zero munition, he just used all the munition for all upgrades. Just all three folks have those STGs. Also, the Overzorot and have those uh, beautiful kind of sets. Weapon. So. We have still choose, uh, uh, used uh, a commander for unknown ledge and the beautiful hit just misses! Ah, oh, that was just a waste of a lot of munition here. But yeah, we have seen the Falchimjäger Doctrine, that's just interesting that he builds with the Luftwaffe Crown Forces Doctrine. Um, he didn't use it till now, I don't see he used anything from it, probably in uh, some, some plane, um, but I don't think so, I'm not sure. Probably used one, but not anything else. Not sure if that was really worth it to use this commander right now. Um, even it could be good to countering those snipers in the late game, but there are not a lot of buildings left. The downside building is on level, could be going down. The middle one is the only one who is still repaired, but we have also this kind of um, spillers. We would be very important with the cop side one. And we have those sneaky uh, buildings behind it, so it could be a way to build those kind of Falchim Jäger in the late game for some very surprising thing here. We're getting suppressed from some kind of things. Then Stone MG doing a good job here to holding it. Firefly getting some shots up with Rakit Mephor but is not in trouble, getting repaired again. And right now ooh, some beautiful hits from the I LG and the P4 looking to get some shots into the a T gun getting some super hits against the those firefly up and let's see if he just will getting out should be getting out pioneers looking to get those a T gun recruit and there are the fighting maker just dropped out in the middle of the building but they're instantly suppressed and can't doing a lot of stuff so probably not the smartest way to go oh and there was a double tolpin rocket destroying the LG. That is just a thing what God really needs, his energy just lets him bleed a lot and now also the Raketenwerfer goes down almost, just working on it to destroying it, so right now Unknown Legend is just in a very bad situation here right now, he has still map control at the moment, so he still with a triple cap lets God bleeding a lot, but how long could he holding that a grenade from the Obersoldaten? Didn't do a lot of damage against this MG, which just uh, is instantly in retreat. But he could still have him after all the points. map control. Some infantry sections working That's with this kind of There's no cover anymore, most likely, so we have a better way. But this infantry section is in low health. He could just retreating it, he could be losing it almost. But no, it just revived. Sniper vet to you again, the new sniper with 70 kills, that's a very useful sniper here, and doing a lot of damage. And now sniper working to let him come away. Map control still at the moment in the way from the legend. Let's see what he's going next, he could just building probably in a couple of minutes some kind of Cromwell to have something better against infantry, or he just goes for the beautiful Centaur. The beast against infantry. What it would be probably still better than a Cromwell at the moment to have to something more useful against those kind of folks, Ubersoldaten, and also Falchimega. Falchimega goes very fast down against those kind of things. Now you have to pass the problem and half health before, and you don't have anything to repair. You're just putting right now a Storm Pioneer back finally. That will be helping to repair it finally and getting P4 back in action. Still on triple VP lead and it looks like that he's just dropping more and more VPs here. God is not in the best situation, but how to survive that in this way? At the moment very low and not really vetted infantry sections on the field, he loses some kind of infantry sections in the early game. Trying now again to get those VPs. At least one back, the second one in the middle one, he tries also to get one, but he will probably be seen from the Fallschirmjäger, which just will be letting suppress again, and yeah, he is getting suppressed. There's again... 
And I think we're probably going for some tokens again to take down this building. You see it getting repaired. Oh, it looks like you were going for it. Don't hit even the, the tokens. Oh, and the P4 is in big trouble. P4 in big trouble. He's just getting two beautiful shots in. Could be getting it. One more shot from the AT gun and from the rockets and it's down. No, it's just getting survived. Oh, and he just almost overdrive those kind of things and the T4 building just getting saved from this hero P4 who just tried to get the fire on it that he have time to repair the T4 building. It was just like in suppression. Yeah, I do it. I, I just coming to, to the middle and just let the fire let me take that you guys could just repair this T4 building. We need this T4 building. It's important. It holds the middle. It holds the VPs. It's important to hold those kind of things. Meanwhile, on the middle one, uh, folks are here beating a lot of that five, but it comes with... No, just getting it from the last little guy from the MG here. Super nice. Grenade goes in, but the MG surviving. The stolen MG32 did what it should did. And we just have the Cromwell on the field. He's probably trying to get those T4 building now down, almost repaired. Kind of... IT gun. And now it's very interesting what's happening now. He's just trying again to get those T4 building down. Getting some nice shots in P4 on very low health. He can't going out at the moment. You don't have any AT up. And T4 looks at the moment really almost destroyed. He just needs 45... 46 points left to hold that, but at the moment it just stayed on uh, on uh, just a zero. do not ticking take down at the us. moment, and he's trying to hold that much VPs he could do just to get more time up. But it looks like that um, God getting a nice comeback more and more. You just have his T1, that one Sherman Firefly. He has an AT gun. He has a sniper. That two. He has also those T4 building on the field and it looks like at the moment the fuel is really really high so he probably goes for a T2 and li uh, looking to getting a tiger up, a king tiger, the big one, the big tank, the biggest tank from the OKW just is a beast against other tanks as well as against every kind of infantry like the uh, mobile building with firing power against everything. Cromwell working to get some kills here. Uh, center would be doing a better work, but even Cromwell is not bad with that. There's also some Firefly helping out with some MG firing from the front. MG, which is just in in this kind of little area in the near of the gun. Panzer fear P4 vet you. Helping out, almost get the pioneers, but pioneers survived and we'll have a nice time here. Middle one, sniper, almost there to cap the middle one, but he's wasn't looking there right now. He's just getting it. There are just some falchion mega are very close to the piles, but we're winning this fight here. Oh, nice hit from the topus! It's getting. Could be winning this fight, could be risky. Right side still, he's not watching, he could just losing those little kind of repairing squads. Let's see if he goes for it, I don't think so. And they got the pioneers down, so the Falchion Maker survived and could just get in capping over the VPs. He's just trying to hold the VPs that much he could that they don't put him that fast down. And yeah, doing a good job to now. Still no really um, tank counter, only the P4 which is just Enemy useless against point. those VET2 Firefly and almost still a VET1 Cromwell. Sniper just sitting in middle and trying to hold this kind of map. Over Soldaten trying to get back into the middle. And map control goes at the moment really in the other way. God just have a good good time here and just get some comeback at the moment. God 
only have to do probably now to getting some big tanks out probably he goes for a church to have some more firepower and that's it you don't have anything else to build some more infantry sections or just to choose something to get a crocodile on the field you have even the chance to get a crocodile soon on the field if you're just saving now the fuel for it now some new bunkers, bunkers getting built on the left side here before just uh, reset with some kind of infantry together to get a combination play there probably to break through to the downside to get the fuel back to get the VP back to not bring a lot and meanwhile on the top side a little kind of army goes into to get the top side VP after all some uh, P4 work with uh, Obersoldaten and, and also a uh, nice set of mine here on the retreat path for the P4, just to getting sure that nothing follows them. Those kind of things. We're seeing a lot of manpower for an unknown legend, and we exactly now what he will build next. That will be the big KT, the King Tiger, us. the Koenigs Tiger. Playing very safe is Vet 2 Panzer. Here. Almost Vet 3. Will make him a lot dangerous against those Brit tanks. Looking for some information into middle. Getting some nice hit and killing one of those five Pioneer squads. At the moment, a lot of people, both sides, just looking to playing defensive and there comes the big one there is it's the king tiger a capture point is being overrun and you're looking for for steel to break it to destroy it first hit from the firefight just don't penetrate sadly or was it AT got another hit from the firefly getting a nice hit in MG before getting some hits up before almost dead but it gets outside just in time. KT just sitting there, chilling a bit, don't want to be too aggressive here. And probably getting some uh, nice little repair from uh, Storm Pioneers. Some laugh. The lovely, lovely Storm Pioneers, which are at the moment capping the downside with those upgraded rockets. Will not have that much chance here. To hold the side. Folks, Canadiers, VAT5 now trying to get. Over the right VP. Left side, meanwhile, just the cap, the back capping from guard is on the way, so it will be still a double cap. And let unknown legend, you just lose still 160 VP, is uh, bleeding more. KT almost repaired still, but the P4 need more love. We're probably going for some repair station here to getting fast repairs up. Would be nice against those KT. KT getting a wonderful shot, getting still half that right now against those Firefly. Oh, and that was lucky that the sniper don't getting it. The sniper almost would be taken out from the KT. The HK AT gun getting shredded from over the garden with the Falcon Jaegers. Let's see if he just could uh, forcing. He just set in his valiant assault. That means just they attack faster, uh, more effectively, and also could moving faster. So quicker movements. But the MG just stop it, and you could getting his uh, AT gun back. Still no commander choose from him, He's, but uh, we tried to get another Firefly out. Wow! So he's just trying, okay, I need more firepower against those KT to take him down. He's still getting damage, but two Fireflies with one Torpe could be the end of the King Tiger very soon. So let's see how we're just using it. We could probably be going for a flank with the Cromwell as well, because there's nothing really on the field, which is just countering a flank here. We just have a P4 on the field. The P4 at the moment is still in a very, very low situation. Some mines goes off, taking um, two guys from the infantry sections the down, but the infantry sections will be forced to be retreating now. Get those double bit five. Take one of our points. Folks, get it, yes.
Map controllers at the moment totally in the hand from God. Unknown legend Enemy trying his best to point. survive. Let's see how long he could just stay here. Right side, some little fights going on. Building fight will be probably winning against those. Falchi Mego just said, okay, it. okay, I'm going away. Just will capping my, my munition. I don't need more. Munition is enough. And that is what he need. I know let's have at the moment almost no munition after using this kind of information explain. Some good hit from the Firefly, probably another hit goes in. But he goes back and don't want getting too much. Oh the middle building almost goes down. You have to retreat there and he just realizes it and goes down here. Before getting faced against the Chromebell, getting them nice hits up. The P4 now reached that 3 and now is just like a beast. The eagle mobility and rate of fire is just now increased and P4 getting really serious and dangerous for uh, those Chromebell. Chromebell is not that strong after all. If Chromebell hit that 3, he could be doing uh, some better things, but. A new T4 building goes up for Unknown Legend. If this is the way, I don't know. He probably needs some other big points. infantry out as well. So he should probably go in for some more Force Energies or some other kind of infantry because he has two vehicles up, but um, those kind of low infantry will not doing a lot here. He's able to manage to cap the left side at the moment. But how long he will be able to hold it? So there's a KT hiding in the background to get in action if something just joining the down or middle one. And there looks like there's coming another forward push from the Cromwell to get some nice hits up, to get some bets. Misses both shots, just a little damage against him, but not enough to kill one of the squad units. Trying to reinforcing units in the base, some cover builds at the moment, everything very quiet. Both sides trying to get a good setup of the weapons to getting a good combination play here. Cromwell in the front of them. Still guard didn't choose the doctrine, so we are still 37 in minutes in. He now switch commander unknown legend build but he don't want to build a zone he just said no I, I I don't need it's all good I don't need a commander for what but probably it would be the best way to getting some arty or something else up against those infantry I don't know or a crocodile just if you just need this one some hunts in actually wouldn't be bad as well against those KT and those tanks here which are getting serious serious and more and more uh, uh, power and make it much harder to get control over that. Even those two fireflies will doing a lot of damage against these vehicles. Against two vehicles, two fireflies probably not strong enough if he was one time together with everything. Oh, nice hit from the Chromewell doing some nice hits against those Storm Pioneers. Also those force getting some little damage up, but the KT just decided to go on Enemy the top side. And this point. guy is now in a big trouble. If he retreats, he could just getting take down from the KT. If he goes in, he could take him down from the KT. And the uh, Obersoldaten also could have Enemy a nice uh, retreat grenade here Trying to take, take it down. He's just working on this building and uh, tries that he don't getting through this building away. So he could just drive around and killing it. Nice hit here. He have to retreat very soon. He still sticks there. Probably just tries to get some good flank here up. But he don't know what there is in this area. It could be mine. It could be some rakit in there for him. Building almost down the complete front side is destroyed. He's trying to healing and trying to get away here, but the Ubers a lot could probably see him very soon. Oh, there comes, there comes the double fireflies. Found the P4s and the P4 goes probably down now. Yes, P4 down. Beautiful gameplay. Beautiful double firefly flues. He will probably getting some engine damage, but it looks like it will be do not a lot of damage here. So P4 down, it was really sadly, so he needs just another thing. He could just building another P4 up if you need. 
or it just but it looks like more he goes for the panzer next if you were building a new vehicle there's coming the fight over the lot against the infantry sections uh, well it looks like they were winning the fight with those upgraded upgraded mg34 middle one we have just the kt going back Meanwhile, Cromwell looking to hold the middle one, right side still, it was the Laten in trouble, getting just the flank and so the double infantry section winning the fight, just from healing wouldn't be bad on this kind of infantry. And still map control is more or less in the hand from Guard. Guard just keep building anything he could do. He just have so much resources, he could just building, I don't know, more infantry. And he goes, he just goes for an infantry section, he could just upgrade into getting some Churchill out or just going for a cro crocodile soon. So the crocodile will be probably the way to go here. Firefly. Trying to getting some good shots up, but the KP is back. Romwell trying again to get some shots up. KT going again back for looking for some hits against those Cromwell. Is he hitting it? Yes, a beautiful hit here. There comes the Fireflies trying to get some good hits up. He is almost in danger. Now he's just trying to get it. Is he going for it? Is he going for the KT? I think he's going for it. Another good hit. The KT is in trouble. Could he winning this fight? Oh, misses the shot. Another misses. No, one hit. One more shot. He's getting it. No. He just survived with almost no health. What a lucky KT that the Torpus don't survive a here. Is being overrun. And downside, the Pioneers just have to retreat again at the moment. Unknown Legends trying to get at any point UVPs up, but still. The middle one is covered from the MG and also the Cromwell with an AT gun against some infantry section, against some Storm Pioneers which are trying to a flank here. It looks like um, he could try to get it. Cromwell trying to get some hits against those kind of things. Let's see if he's just getting it, but there's also infantry section to support here. I think just he's forced to getting back here very soon. The Storm Pioneers are in low health. He just uh, increased the kind of power you just see okay I have time I have time I could just get in the middle now it's now my way to get this he's trying to let him play down with the VPs he now he have not anymore that much time he have to use everything he had at the moment when we're working on those storm pioneers uh, on those um, Obersoldaten and right now just getting the decap let's see if he just could winning this Falchimir just getting the looking for the cap finally a T gun just the did shoot and the KT is on the way to getting repaired but needs still time. He could just getting some support repair from the Storm Pioneers as well. But the Falchim are getting the cap after all. So he just got holding the the piece. Probably maybe hopefully long enough. I don't know. Meanwhile, Cromwell, which ending them just getting repaired from the double storm pioneers or double pioneers. Falchim are trying to Pushing forward but running into the MG and getting suppressed right now. Is there a grenade? There's a grenade. The grenade just goes to force him not to getting forward that fast to get those VPs up. But the Cromwell looking for some hits misses. Fox and are uh, also have to retreat again. The m more units in the base probably trying to get back into the middle. He will have time to get the mi middle VP back. He goes for it. He goes also for the down VP. He needs just a triple cap at the moment. It's just 73 VPs against 33 VPs. Who could win this fight? Is at the moment very open. At the moment, Unknown Legend has a better situation in VPs, but he had more and more problems to hold those kind of things. The KT have problems against those KT gun, uh, T gun and also this double fireflies. Cromwell is also a big trouble here. Let's see what he's building next. He probably don't have time to get the tank out. He needs some more infantry. So probably Falchim maybe is here on the top side in any point. You have some some nice buildings he could using for some Falchim Jägers soon. So this could be helping. Also the downside could just dropping in Falchim Jägers and bringing up the control over that. Little one he just trying again here. KT again under fire from the rifle uh, fireflies. And the AT gun goes down, probably getting shoot it down here. Here we go. No, it just survived here. Here comes some over soldat and with Fortnite of squads and trying and forcing down those kind of squad's infantry gone. sections. Top side there's a Falchim Jäger squad vet you trying to get those infantry down off the thing. And he just Enemy survived that and he could win this points. fight. So just an even fight here. Let's see you winning this fight. On the downside, and the crocodile, uh, the crow. 
the Cromwell trying for some crashes and getting some nice hits there and just hold the VP at the moment. Topside still control from Legend. He will winning at least the fight on the top side. Could be capping the top side VP middle of the tight at the moment, getting back under the control of God. Double Firefly just looking for a very strong hit in the back armor from those Chromewell. Top side just in time will we have now under control to unknown legend. At the moment, 63 VPs left. He's just getting more down. He need those. He need those. He's at the moment triple capped almost, and he need at the moment at least two VPs, if not even more. It just looks like a last big final push have to be here for unknown legend to have a chance here. The T4 building goes again down. Also those. Eddie G getting again some rockets up. The rockets are still enough up. T4 pulling down. So he could holding the middle one probably. They have at the moment two VPs left. Where is the Cromwell? He's sitting on low health on the downside. He needs really some repair lovely repairs. But at the moment all the units he could just repairing are in middle at the moment. He's just trying to hold every kind of VP with those arty now he uses all his munition he just see okay okay i need i don't have a lot of time here another chrome will on the way to support in any point any vp point on the downside coming Down a big to a army of a falcon jäger and also some kind of falcon jäger up top side just some hiding falcon jäger trying to get those kind of things here mg 32 with infantry sections trying to get the top side VP will have probably success if there's not a beautiful grenade from the Falcon Megas from Unknown Legend. The capture point is being overrun. Middle one, the Obersoldaten trying to get those kind of things. Sniper working again. Still at three. We have 44 kills. Just the B sniper. The second sniper, the There's first sniper is down. But the second sniper just doing as well. A very beautiful job. Getting some good hits up here, left. and he could just getting back the right side top. But at the moment, at the moment, God dropping a lot of VPs. You have just to hold in those kind of things. And wow, the double Topa just destroying a complete squad in the retreat pad. What a beautiful hit here from God. Downside under control at the moment for London Legend. He just could probably sit there for a while before hitting at middle one. Also under control top side the KT working on those kind of things and he's trying to hold at least two VPs. Just ten VPs left. The Preston is Kuti just getting back under control. Looks like that it was it. The sniper just is frustrated and looking to get more into the closer fights. He wants to get after all those middle VPs. The sniper just going back again because he's getting fired from the. Storm, Fox and Ideas, Fox and Ideas are down. It's just a matter of seconds. Five VPs left. Good to Sniper capping the last VP before it taking down. At the moment, Unknown Legend have almost nothing left, but two VPs left. Two VPs left. Could he just hitting it? It's uh, decap. So you have time again for some couple of minutes here. Sniper have to be retreating soon. We have two. F fireflies which are sitting in the background they should just going forward and taking those KT down sniper trying to survive here firefly Topa in and he's just getting perfectly super Topa's and double hits and totally now have the chance to winning this fight and another beautiful hit from the fireflies fireflies are taking down the KT finally KT is down and there is surrendered unknown legend so the winner is clear it was God got to a super good beautiful job after a very very uh, low VP he just decided to come back with double double firefly and as well as a double Cromwell he was just in very close one he had some chances to lose this fight still but yeah at two vps he just lost the game um unknown legends and yeah it was just sadly that the kt didn't get more support he could just build something up here he has probably some time to build another tank up or another kind of more infantry he just have probably not did that and that cost him the game at least he just had not that much vps in the end so that was the cast hope you enjoyed the, um, the cast if you have feedback feel free to share it into the chats into the commentaries on down thank you guys see you next time